Hey babes, my name is Jessica and this is my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I really hope you enjoy and if you do, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe down below and turn on your post notification bell so you could be notified the next time I post a new video. Today I want to share with you guys five common mistakes beginner lash artists make. If you haven't started lashing, listen up so you don't make these mistakes. If you are lashing right now and you feel like you're making some of these mistakes, this is a sign to nip it in the butt and stop doing it, okay? Let's just dive right in. Mistake number one, speed over isolation. Nope. You have to isolate before you get your speed down. You wanna focus on isolation, you hear me? You don't want to be able to do a full set in two hours or a touch up in 45 minutes because let me tell you, you're never gonna to get to that point. Prep work, all of that takes a lot of time. So if you're doing touch ups in 45 minutes, you are definitely doing it wrong, sister. I want you to focus on isolation and placement. You can get faster and faster over time once you do muscle memory all that good stuff but if you are trying to go fast and you are not isolating properly you are going to damage your client's natural lashes it's going to hurt and they're not going to come back isolation is the key foundation you do not want to build a house with a bad foundation because then it's going to come crumbling down the lashes are gonna fall off soon, and like I mentioned, it's just gonna hurt your clients and hurt you. So focus on isolation, placement, the speed, muscle memory, all of that's gonna come with time, but number one is focus on your isolation. Mistake number two is pricing. Guys, do not undercharge. I see this time and time and time again beginner lash artists try to charge $65 for a full set. It blows my mind. What are you doing? I just want to shake them and say you are worth way more. Take into consideration the price of your studio, the price of your products, the price of your knowledge. If you're paying thousands of dollars to get trained into lash extensions and then you're turning around to charge $65 for a full set and then burning yourself out because you're taking so many clients to make ends meet, this is a luxury service. You need to stop it. You need to charge what you're worth. Remember, if you are working a nine to five, every year your manager, the boss, is gonna give you a raise. So make sure that every year you're raising your prices as well. Every year, your muscle memory is growing, you're learning, you're continuing to expand on your business, and you have to also have those prices meet. You don't wanna stay with clients that are paying, or you don't even want those clients that are gonna pay $65 for a full set. You want those clients that are gonna trust you, that are gonna value your price, that they're gonna value your time, all of that, so please, Make sure you're not charging less than $100 for a full set. You hear me? Nothing less than $100 for a full set. And if you haven't um, raised your prices in a while, this is your sign again to raise your prices. Mistake number three, investing. Well, more like not investing back into the business. I will see lash techs come into the industry, see how much money this service can bring them, and then just not invest back into it. Let's say they make $100 in one day, they turn around and spend that $100. That's definitely not gonna help you in the long run. Um, you have to invest back into your business. This is your baby. You have to take that money and invest a little bit of it into lash training, a little bit of it into better products, some into your studio. So. What I highly suggest is right now, as you are lashing, try to invest some money back into those items, back into your business to make it grow. If you have a guest and she continues to come to you and in six months she doesn't see you being more confident in the products you're using, she doesn't see the studio like evolve, it's just always dingy and the same, or like she doesn't see you training and learning and things like that, they're definitely gonna lose interest. You wanna make sure you are attracting guests 
that want the best and you have to ha want the best for your business as well. So make sure to invest back into your business. Mistake number four is boundaries. I want you guys to set boundaries. Don't go out there and make each guest your best friend because that day that your best friend cancels on you last minute, it's gonna feel bad having to tell them and enforce your no same day cancellation policy. I have a video, I'll link it up here, that I didn't do too long ago where I share with you guys my policies. Another reason why you need to set boundaries is so you don't get burnt out. There's gonna be guests that are gonna try to step on your toes, try to break your policies, and that, my friends, is where you can fire a guest. You want to make sure you have those boundaries so your business can grow. It's not only to make your guests happy and treat them with respect, but you wanna make sure you're treating yourself with respect as well. Last but not least, the fifth common mistake I am going to share with you guys today is aftercare. Stay with me, aftercare. I don't know how many times I've seen this facial expression on a guest, deer, caught in headlights. When I'm explaining aftercare to them and they've not heard this from their previous lash artist, and I'm like, okay, so you're gonna wash your lashes every single day. Every day? Every day you should be washing your lashes. And they've just never heard that before. Don't be that lash artist that's not telling your guest how to take care of their lashes. You're only with them five, 20% of the time the lashes are on their face. The other time, who is taking care of them? Your guest is. So if they don't know that they shouldn't be using oily products around their eyes, they might use oily products around their eyes. If you're not telling them they need to wash every single day, they might not be washing every single day because they think it's going to make their lashes fall off faster, which falls, it's not. So make sure you are going over aftercare with them and that you tell them that if there's any issues that they can ask you that if they feel like they're doing something wrong that's making their lashes not last as long they'll know that they could come to you versus them not washing for like five days and they all fall off when they do wash and then they get scared to tell you don't let your guests be scared to tell you stuff. Your guests are most likely not lash artists. They took a completely different career and they don't know nothing about lashes. We do. So as the lash professional, go over aftercare with your guests. Let me know down below which common mistake you have done in the past. For me, I feel like it's setting boundaries. When I first opened my lash studio, I was really, really hungry for clients, as we all are. But then quickly, I had to set boundaries because I was getting really burnt out. I felt like some of my guests just didn't care about my time, and I did not want those guests around. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to share with a lash friend. Let's share the lash love. If you enjoyed, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down so I can know. I know the lighting is really weird. If you stuck until the end, thank you. I love you. Um, leave a little light emoji down there so I can know you made it this far. <laughs> Subscribe down below. Turn on your post notification bell so you can be notified the next time I post a new video. And until then, bye my loves. You can also quickly subscribe to the channel by clicking my face that just popped up. Click it and you're subscribed to my channel and you could go ahead and watch two other of my videos before you head out. I love you, bye.